Good morning, y'all. Good morning, green kitty cat. Meow. Good morning, guys. Hi. Good morning. So, um, hopefully you guys are liking my videos. I haven't had time to read the comments down below. Um, or whatever. So, I don't know if you guys like them or not. I don't know what y'all saying right now, but... Hopefully you guys are liking my um liking my videos. I know they're random or whatever, but it is what it is. So anyway, guys, I'm still at home. I just got it, it together. Just got up, you know, wash my face, rinse my mouth out. Um, just took me a BC powder because I have a headache. It's let's see what time it is, y'all. It is 11.51, which is 12 o'clock. And, um, yeah. So, that's where we are with it right now, y'all. I'm at home still. I haven't gotten it together. I'm about to get it together in a minute. Uh, I got the boys. Uh, excuse me. I have the boys. Uh, my husband has my daughter. He said he had to go to the car dealership to do something. I don't know what he had to do. I don't know. He stays at this car dealership, y'all. We didn't bought the car cash. Usually, you buy a car and you be gone. This motherfucker stays because they give you, they give you like free car washes for like lifetime, and they, you know, they do you right, y'all. They do you right. Now, Range Rover didn't give me free nothing. Okay. But anyway, so he doing something. I don't know what he's doing. But I'm finna call him right now, now that I'm up, and see how my daughter doing. See if she still want to be up there because they just have the car dealership. So I don't know if she's bored. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But um, I'm going to finna see and pull up on her and see if she just, if she, if she wants to be there with her dad, cool. If she don't, then I'll go get her. But I don't really have much to do today. Um, I, you guys know I went to Kohl's. I spent $700 at Kohl's, y'all. I'm like, oh, my God. I did not mean to spend that much. I really did not, y'all. I was doing good, y'all. I was doing good. And as soon as I hung up the phone from y'all, it went bad. It just went bad. Ain't nothing I can say about it. It went bad. And, you know... I don't even know. But I can say I'm done with my kids as far as Christmas shopping. Y'all, it just went so bad. It went to the left. $700 in that fucking store. But it's cool. I'll show you guys everything I got before I wrap it all up. Um, I ended up getting my husband what I said I was going to get him. And I got my kids some things or whatever. Um, I don't know where seven hundred dollars come from. I really don't, as I'm thinking in my head. I don't see it, but it's there. So whatever. It's in the car. I didn't take anything out yet, so I'll probably do some wrapping tonight or tomorrow, depending on depending on how I feel or whatever, and when I come in the house. But so yeah, I spent seven hundred dollars at fucking clothes last night. So. I'm really not doing any uh, Christmas shopping today. The only thing I'm... Oh, I found out, y'all, what I'm making for Christmas. Now, first, I was going to... You sprayed your room? Yeah. You sprayed the bathroom? Yeah. You, you all sprayed his room? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Put it right over there. I got them spraying their room so the house can smell like warm vanilla up here. And then down there, it's going to smell like pine. But anyway... um. I'm like, I've been really indecisive. Like, what in the hell are we going to eat for Christmas? You know what I'm saying? Because it really nobody want soul food. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want no none of that, okay? So I was like, you know what? What about a gumbo? I do I do a pretty good gumbo, y'all. I'm, I'm a new thing. I'm not no old thing. So, you know, it ain't perfect. But it's a good, it's, I, I, I would call it a gumbo. I would call it a very good gumbo. So I make a very good gumbo. So I'm thinking like, you know what, let me make a gumbo. Even though I can't eat it because it's hard for me to eat rice and sausages and shit like that. Um, but I'm going to make gumbo. I've been craving some devil eggs, you guys. I don't know why. 
I want some devil eggs, and I cannot find nobody who can make me no devil eggs. The stores don't have it. I have people, I pay people to make them for me. They don't know how to make it. So I'm going to go online and see how to make them. I made them one time before. I made the batter one time before, and it was just perfect. It was sweet enough. It was good. I liked it. So that's what I'm going to do because it's 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 um it's more creamy than potato salad. Like potato salad got the potatoes and it's hard. I can't eat that. But um devil eggs because it's whipped, I can eat that. So I'm I got devil eggs. I know this don't make sense, but I want devil eggs. I'm doing gumbo and I'm going to do a pot of greens. And y'all know I love greens. And I'm going to do a pot of greens because greens are easy for me to eat. So I'm going to just mix it up and then I'm going to do cornbread. And then I'm going to get a honey baked ham or a turkey. I'm going to really try to get a honey baked ham or a turkey. I really, really am. So if they want honey baked ham, uh, greens, and some, and some rice or something, they can have that. If they want gumbo, they can have that too. So it's going to be basically like two meals, but one meal. I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do, guys. So today, before um, I have my maid clean my cabinets out in the kitchen, my refrigerator, everything. So now I can go and buy the things that I need to buy. So basically, y'all, um, that's what I'm making. Um, I still got time to add on if I need to, but I don't see myself adding on. Um, Yeah, now for dessert. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do for dessert. I really don't know. Everybody likes cheesecake. Like, the whole house, their favorite is cheesecake. Everybody likes cheesecake. And then Amir likes chocolate cake. And then my husband likes either red velvet cake or um, German chocolate cake. Me, I don't give a damn. As long as it's got sugar... Sugar, butter, cream in it, y'all. I'm all for it, okay? So, I don't know what type of dessert. I really don't. I just know I want it really nice and good. So, I may look online on Instagram, and I may get somebody some sweets from somebody. I may buy some, purchase some sweets. You know, make a, a phone order. I may do that. Maybe if they can do half um, red velvet and half German chocolate, like, that would be super dope. So I'm going to see about the desserts. I know I'm not making no desserts. I'm a baker, but not like that. And then um, I want to do one cake and one banana pudding. One cake and one banana pudding. So that's what I want to do. Now, I can I know how to make my own banana pudding. So I'm going to see if I can find somebody who makes it really good. But if I don't see if they make it real good, then I'll make my own banana pudding. And then just buy the cake. So that's the plan. That's the recipe for, not the recipe, but that's the um, menu for now. It may change. I don't know. But I'm on my way now. Well, once I get it together to go to Sam's Club. Okay. Because I'm looking for crab legs, sausages, chicken, you know, stuff like that. Shrimp. So, I don't need to go to Sam's Club for all of the meats because, like I said, it's just I'm not really eating it. So, I don't need that. And it's I have a small family. So, um, like Smith's or Albertson's, their, their size of chicken, you know, or shrimp is good enough for my family. I don't really need a big old um family family size like that because i'm not eating no i'm not inviting anybody over and my kids really don't eat leftovers so they may have it christmas and the, the day the day after christmas but that's really it so i don't need to make a big old big old pot of it so i really don't need to go to sam's club for all the meats but i am going to sam's club for the crab legs because um that's where i bought my crab legs at um and it's just, I, that's just right by I'm at, y'all. So that's where I'm going to go. And then um, I'm going to buy my shrimp from there. I think I'm going to buy all my seafood from there, my shrimp and my um, crab legs. And then everywhere else, like this grocery store, I'll buy the chicken and the sausages and all that. So that's what I think I'm going to do, y'all. Um, I want to get it done today. I want to get that done today because... Um, 
yeah, then I'm going to put it in the freezer and let it freeze. And then I'm a, I'm cooking everything um, Christmas, a day before Christmas Eve. Um, so the 23rd, the 23rd is what I'm going to cook so it can be ready for Christmas Eve and Christmas. Okay, y'all, so that that's what I got going on. <clears throat> I decided I'm not going to pay nobody to cook for me. I, and I was just, I don't want, we don't want no pie roast. I was going to do pie roast, but I don't, I don't want no pie roast. Like, I'm not really feeling like that. I just want some gumbo. I, either, I was either going to do a gumbo or a seafood boil for Christmas. We did a seafood boil for um, Thanksgiving a couple of years ago. And like I told you, our family loves seafood. Like, we love seafood. So, we like seafood more than we do, like, brisket and beef and all that type of stuff so i was going to do a, um a, a corn potatoes lobster i mean not lobster crab yeah and two lobster tails and i was going to do all that with the honey butter sauce and regular lemon pepper sauce and i was going to do all that myself um but then i decided you know what i'm indecisive now i just said that i don't know y'all i'm gonna see i'm gonna see I'm going to see, because I could really get all that, put it in a baked bag, put it in the oven. It's just, I may, I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Either it's going to be a crab boil or a gumbo. I'm going to see, y'all. Now that I just broke it all the way down, y'all, that shit sound kind of good. Plus, I can eat that a little bit more than I can eat the gumbo. Because I can suck on a potato. I can suck on the, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh... The gumbo got sausage and shrimp. You know, it's 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 harder to deal with the gumbo than it would be the crab boy. I I could snuck on the corn, you know. So I may do actually scratch that. I may do the crab boy. I don't know until I get to the store. But basically, it's gonna be a seafood situation. We're gonna call it that. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be. But it's going to be a seafood situation. So I'm going to go to Sam's Club, see what I can pick up. Hopefully, they got good prices on um, crab legs. Because either what I make, I still need crab legs. And um, that's it. And y'all leave me in the comments down below. Which one y'all think? Crab boy or sea boy? I want to make something that's quick. I want to make something that's good. And I would like to make something that I can kind of eat too, you know? So... Leave me in the comments down below. If y'all have any other suggestions, let me know. Um, Y'all definitely going to see me today. I'm going to try to do my haul today because I got so much shit that's in bags, y'all. From decorations to gifts to shit I just bought on the sly. You know, I got a lot of shit and it's all in bags. So, um, before I take them out, I definitely want to videotape and show you guys everything that I got or whatever. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do right now, y'all. I took me a good old bath last night. Good old, good old bath. I have some new body washes called Jingle Jingle by, um, who is it by? It's by somebody called Jingle Jingle. It smells so good, y'all. It's really, it really do. It's by, I can't remember who it's by. I'll show y'all when I, later on. But anyway, I'm finna, um, do all it. Just, you know, put some deodorant on again. You feel me? And, um, throw some on and go do what I need to do. So, hopefully you guys have a beautiful day today. I'm gonna try to have a blessed, beautiful day today. Um, I have not found... Uh, where can I serve help serve food? Because due to the corona, some of the businesses that are um, that that specialize in homeless people, that I can't reach them. I've been leaving messages. So what I decided to do is get pizza a day before Christmas Eve. So like the twenty, like like the twenty third or the twenty second or the twenty first. When I hit the twenties. So, I don't know if it's going to be the 21st, the 22nd. Before I hit the 20s and before Christmas Eve come, I'm going to get, like, a lot of pizza from Little Caesars. I know people do this often, but it's what I can afford. It's what I can do. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to buy a grip of pizza from Little Caesars, a, a grip of pizza, and just pass it out with some soda, with some water, and that's the best that I can do with a scripture on it, a scripture, Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't have no soul food to give out like that because I just don't have it like that. I wish I did, but I don't. So I'm going to do pizza. 
um, from Little Caesars. I'm going to do it starting somewhere on the 20th. 20 something. I don't know, you know, but before Christmas and in my in, in, in the 20s, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I will definitely be showing you guys what I'm doing and how I'm doing. I also got some blankets I've been buying from um Goodwill. I have some blankets I've been buying from Goodwill, and then I got some blankets I bought from um Big Lots because they were kind of getting expensive. I got, like, they were $5 a blanket, but they were so little. Like, it only covered, it was for me. Like, it only covered me up, the little quilts, and it was $5, and anything over $5 was super expensive. So I had to go to Goodwill, and I was able to get, like, you know, blankets and covers and, um, and, um, what's those zippies called? Um, you know, when you go camping, you know what I'm talking about. One of those bags. You know what I'm talking about. What, uh, not a tent. A sleeping bag. I was able to get some sleeping bags for a couple of dollars and this, that, and the third. So I have it in my car because I have to take it to the laundry mat and I at least want to wash it, you know, all, all again. So that's what I got going on. Y'all don't judge me. If y'all know a place where I can buy cheap stuff from inexpensive stuff, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any suggestions, you let me know. Um, yeah, I won't ask for no help this year from you guys because I'm just now figuring it out. But in a couple of years when my channel go up, I'm going to be needing y'all help. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all to cash at me and help me with these people down here. But right now, y'all cool. Y'all cool for a couple of years now. I'll do it. Just, just watch me. And I just ask that you guys do what you can. You know what I'm saying? In your community, man. You know what I'm saying? This has been a really rough year for a lot of people. Even people that live in homes. Even people that got money. Some people have lost family members this, this, this Thanksgiving. I mean, this Christmas. Some people have lost a lot of shit some people have lost homes jobs and family you know what i'm saying so it don't have to be material things it could be maybe you know somebody who baby is not here or grandma or, or grandfather or husband go knock on their door go spend some time with them time is good too it's not always about material things it's, it's about time it's about whatever you can give to somebody else that can help them in some type of way y'all do that fucking do that okay do that you know um be great be the be good be good to people y'all be good to people no matter what i can't really give up my time because you know i have my kids and it's you know i just can't do that but i have a little money to give away i have a little bit of you know what i'm saying i can buy some things and give it away i can spend my time like that you know um and that's what i choose to do you know, this year was a really good year. It was a learning lesson. It was a learning year for me. You know? So, if you guys have time, understand that this world and this year have knocked a lot of people down. Financially, spiritually even. Give somebody some food. Whether it's knowledge, whether it's love, whether it's money, whatever it is, I don't give a damn. Get off you guys' asses. Stop being all in the mall and not worrying about nobody else. Worry about everybody in yourself. Help God work. Please do that, guys. I want you guys to be elevated and blessed as well as I'm elevated and blessed. And I keep elevating and elevating, even though I fuck up sometimes. But God knows my heart. God knows a man's heart. God knows your heart. He made you. I don't care. If all you got is 20, give somebody a couple of dollars. It's not going to hurt y'all. I promise you. Go to Goodwill. Get some blankets. It's, it's very cheap. Get some get some blankets. Get some, um, some um, you know, uh, a sleeping bag. Go to 99 cent store. Say, okay, you know what? I'm going to spend $100 on um, a body wash for girls and men. I'm going to do only body wash or only this or only that. I'm, I got $50. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make 50 uh, bags or, you know, 40 bags or whatever. It's so much you guys can do. Let me know if you gave back. Comment down below and let me know what you gave back when you did. Have a beautiful day, guys. Bye.